Hey, 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 I am in the kitchen today in my canning kitchen. In case y'all are wondering where we are. <laughs> I'm always dragging y'all around on the farm, aren't I? Anyway, I want to make a cake. I made this a few years back with y'all, but my lighting was really dark and you couldn't see me really well. And this cake is so good that I want you to be able to see and want to make it. You know, you probably didn't even watch the video and I don't blame you. So it is a cake mix creation and it does take three days to make it, but it's only because we ice it and leave it in the refrigerator so it can come together and absorb some of the frosting and just it becomes one and it's so delicious and I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. John and I never wait three days, okay? And it's still delicious. So no worries about that. Um, we're going to start with the yellow cake mix. You, I've got Betty Crocker today. I get Duncan Hines. I get whatever's on sale is what I get, y'all. I saw this in a grocery store sales paper years ago, and I have embellished on it a little bit and kind of made it, you know, my little recipe, but um, it's so very good, but that's where I got the inspiration from for sure. I'm going to use a cup of coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. There's all kinds of brands you can get. Uh, shake your can really good before you open it. And it's a nice thick, like I say, it's unsweetened. If you don't have this and you don't want to run out and get it, use milk. Okay, that's part of my embellishment. Or you could use water, just like a box cake mix says, but please don't use water. <laughs> Put pineapple juice or orange juice or something. But this coconut milk lends a nice little flavor to it, okay? So, I just do that. Um, another thing I love to use, we need a half a cup of oil, just like the cake box says. But I'm going to use coconut oil. It's unflavored coconut oil. And again, when my boys were little, I've been making this cake for 30 years, okay? And when my boys were little, I could not afford coconut oil, okay? We were making it week to week. Y'all know how that is, right? And so I just use vegetable oil or um, corn oil. I've got three eggs from the girls down at the coop I'm putting in here. Just like the box says. And then this is something else that I didn't always have. But I do today is coconut extract. And I remember they had that in there. They wanted you to put a teaspoon. And I did not have money to go get something extravagant is coconut extract. I just didn't, okay? So, it is delicious without it. No worries. Now, if I had vanilla, I would put a teaspoon of vanilla in there. Um, and something else I found before, I couldn't find it this time, but a box of instant coconut pudding. You could put that in here, just the dry box, just a 3.4 ounce one. And that will give it coconut flavor, and that's a lot cheaper than that coconut extract. So, if you can find that, that will work. Now, just like the box says, we're going to mix it on low. It's still puffing out on me, isn't it? And then we're going to mix it on medium for about two minutes. And in the meantime, I took two 8-inch cake pans. If all you have is 9-inch, use 9. I love cake in an 8-inch cake pan because that little inch makes it a little bit taller. And to me, it just decorates and stacks prettier maybe looks a little bit taller you know so that's why i like that but don't you don't have to be as silly as i am okay and i use since i had this coconut oil out i just used coconut oil to grease them and i've got some flour in here and this is just your old-fashioned way of doing it and why change something if it ain't broke right that's right you see I'm tapping it to get on the sides and all in the bottom. Then I'll tap it to my next pan, just like that. And I'll do the same. Okay, y'all, the rest of that I'll tap out into my garbage, just like this. And we are ready. Yum! <laughs> That just seems like Easter to me. This cake seems Eastery to me. You can make it at Christmas or whenever you like to make coconut cakes. And I try to spread it evenly because when these bake, we're also going to cut them in half. 
so one of them doesn't need to be a whole lot thicker than the other. I'll try to push them out a little bit because you know how they'll rise up in the middle. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I know it. Let me wash my hands, please. All right, now unlike that other cake we just made, when we fluffed it up, that flourless chocolate cake, it was so good. We, um, we do tap these a little bit to get the bubbles out. Into the oven, 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30, depending on your oven. But when we stick a toothpick in the middle and it comes out almost clean or just little crumbs on it, then it will be perfect and we'll move on. Y'all don't go anywhere because we've got to make the filling and the frosting to go in this lovely cake. Oh, guys, mine went exactly 23 minutes. <laughs> so, like I say, you just need to keep check on them yourself. I'm going to let them cool here for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to turn them out onto this wire rack and let them completely cool, and then we'll get them frosted. Y'all know I always cheat and stick these in the freezer and let them get really cold. So we can get rolling with our video. All right, y'all, this frosting is so easy and it's so very good. It's not really sweet because we start with two cups of sour cream and I'm using full fat sour cream. Of course, you could cut it if you wanted to. And it's 16 ounces is what it is or a pound. Um, the recipe I just remember called originally it said two cups, but that's 16 ounces, isn't it? get all of that out of there y'all see now it's a nice this is inside each layer filling and it's also gonna be some of this in our frosting and so it's just not real sweet and I love it I just fell in love with this this is one and one half cups of white granulated sugar I'm gonna start mixing that in there some of y'all said y'all wish y'all had a kitchen like that where you just stick the dirty dishes over in the sink I know down in this canning kitchen, it's tight. Like y'all are right here with me. So, um, yeah, I'm right against the sink, but it is handy. Yes, it is. All right, I'm just stirring that in a little bit to get that started. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. And you know, you could do a teaspoon of that coconut extract as well if you wanted to. But um, this was the original recipe and I just kind of thought I didn't want to go coconut overload or something. I don't know. So I just stuck with that original thing. Uh, now, 14 ounce bag of sweetened coconut flakes going in here. You are also going to need another bag. You may not use the whole thing, but you're going to need that to put on the cake after it sits for three days. You know, of course, we'll um, decorate the outside with more coconut. Get this stirred around in here. You see, I've already washed my mixer and all my dishes are put up. So now we're just down to the fun part, right? Yeah. Y'all saw this is very little effort. It says worth the wait, but it's just because we've got to let it sit for three days or we're supposed to let it sit for three days, right? Okay, this is the one thing you've got to remember because I've almost forgotten so many times. I'm always thinking, don't forget, don't forget. But you need to reserve one cup of this mixture, our filling mixture, to go into this eight ounce container of whipped topping, I should call it right. So let me get my one cup out right now. Right now, R-A-T now, right? My mother would be so proud of my talking. Okay, one cup going with my whipped topping. And now I'm going to scoop this to the side. Bring my cool chilled cakes over here. And I should use a serrated knife, but I don't have one down here in the canning kitchen. And y'all, by the time I make a video, I'm going up and down and up and down. I say that's my exercise when I'm doing that and I could sure use that exercise so I'm not complaining 
but we're not going again. I want to get on to something else, another cake. So I just was careful and patient and made that happen. This cake's nice and tender. I just go in about halfway and I just kind of spin it a little bit. And look, if you don't want to do this, just leave it two layers. You can certainly do that. I like splitting it though because that filling kind of sinks into each little layer and that's why you let it sit for three days because it just becomes a whole other little cake, right? Okay, switch these out. I know y'all are gonna ask about this. I got this thing years ago and it was hardly any money from ABC Distributing. Do y'all remember them? I think they're LTD commodities now. It's called a cranberry uh, trellis cake stand, I believe, and it's got a, a medium one and a small one that goes on top. So I don't know if I can find where you can get one. I'll put the link in there. But um, anyway, that's that's where I got it and I didn't spend nothing on it. You hear me? I mean nothing. All right, now I've got our filling and I'm going to put a little bit. I always put a little bit because that glues our cake down right there here we are see if I can find yeah something better to ice this cake with I'm gonna put me some here you just kind of eyeball it you know and see how much icing you need because you're gonna need it under several of the layers so don't run out but then don't end up with any either <laughs> Oh, that's easier said than done, right? Let's see, I think I might put just a tad bit more. And it doesn't matter if it runs out to the edges like some cakes you're worried about because we're going to put that Cool Whip and the rest of that filling in there and so it'll cover it up and then we're going to press more coconut onto it after it soaks, soaks and sits for three days. All right, let's see here. There we go. My mother loved this cake, so I'll be thinking about her this Easter. She dearly loved me to make this cake. I would make it every Easter. I sure would. I want to make several cakes with y'all. Like I said, I've made this one before, but my lighting was horrible. And some of my sound is staticky, and so I said, we're just, we've got to make it again. I wouldn't have watched that video. I sure wouldn't have. <laughs> That's a clump of coconut. Let's, I need a do-over. There we go. And I'm going to make some more cakes like that that I just think my video was not real good. And I'm going to do some new ones, too. So we're just going to, I'm trying to. Y'all, I'm wanting to top of my... No, it can be poofy. It's okay on this cake. It doesn't have to be flat, does it? I was talking out loud. Y'all pay me no attention. None whatsoever. But yeah, I want to do some of my older videos that weren't quite so lit up well and things of that nature. So, I'm going to do that along with new things so I can try to get us caught up caught up, right? Because I'll look back on one and say, oh my goodness, I need to redo that video. Some of them I look at it and say, hmm, okay, that, that's all right. That'll pass. That was passing grade, but yeah, I want us to redo this one because this cake is so well worth it. It truly, truly is. It is like you have worked and worked and worked. No one will know it's a cake mix. I mean, you just won't. It's it's really, really a lovely, lovely cake, I promise. Okay, y'all, where is that clump of coconut? Get back in there. It's like a hard sugar crystal ball or something. I don't want anybody getting off of that. No, I don't. Now y'all see why it soaks for three days. All that sour cream and vanilla and coconut just... It literally just bonds and makes one cake. It's it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm going to scrape a little bit of that off right there, and I'll just put it in our cup like that. That's not hurt the thing. Now, my cake kind of looks like it's it's kind of getting drunk, right? Let's, let's move it over. 
Straighten yourself up, buddy. So that's your job. That's your job, woman. Okay, y'all. All right. Scoochy scooch here. And that's why you see that cake when I put it in the freezer because it's got to be totally cold or that'll just start melting and sliding. So please don't do this on a warm cake. Please do not. All right, I'm going to get that clump of sugar out of there with just like a hard thing of sugar in that bag of coconut. I'm sure it was delicious, but it just won't do, do good on our icing or frosting, right? I never know whether it's like icing or frosting. I just don't know. I said both growing up, so that's just what I'm doing. Okay, this whole container, just like that. And then you just kind of fold it in there so it won't totally deflate our whipped topping. I'm just, oh, just imagining, picturing, remembering how good this cake is. And I cannot wait for y'all to try it. If you love a coconut cake, you will dearly love this one. I promise you will not be disappointed. It's so very moist. Oh my goodness, and a cup of coffee. Woo, that and a cup of coffee. It is glorious. Yes, it is. Now, when I frost a cake, I'll say frost this time, <laughs> right? I like to start with my sides. This little thing, we're going to be here forever with him. My bigger one's inside the house. I got to move all my canning kitchen stuff back out here. I'll end up carrying things up there for the winter time and using and then it takes me all summer to get everything back down here in the canning kitchen oh i'm silly i need two of everything but that costs a lot of money doesn't it y'all see i'm just using this offset spatula offset spatula to um cross the sides and we are going to need to put this in an airtight container to go in the refrigerator. I just want to put it on this pretty little cake stand for y'all. But that is actually what we're going to need to do. And that's usually what I do. And then I'll pick the whole cake up and put it on a pretty cake scan before I put all the coconut around it is what I, what I normally do. So, I just wanted to show y'all the finished product. Today, I won't make us wait three days. Even if I did, y'all wouldn't know it, would you? Because this video would be rolling. I bet John and I will wait till tonight. <laughs> and then we're going to be cutting into this little puppy. I bet we are. But you know what? It takes us about three days to eat it. So, see... On the third day, we'll be right on target, right? Right. Just about to finish up. You see, it's just a really nice amount of frosting. Very nice amount. You will not be trying to make it spread. Sometimes the recipes do y'all that way. I'm like, man, I could have made a double batch of this frosting. And you get on the struggle bus, don't you? I know. Take some down and get right down to the bottom. I don't know what our Easter plans are this year. Just getting together with the family. What about y'all? Y'all can tell me I love when y'all share stuff with me. Some of y'all's memories, some funny things that happens, and some sad things that happens. And I see I'm easing my way out one of the cameras. Sorry, so sorry. I hate it when that happens. I need something to hold me like right here. Okay. Okay, guys. That's the thing about the extra coconut. I'll do a little cleanup. The thing about the extra coconut is if your cake isn't quite 
even or has some little areas that doesn't look quite as uniform that uh that coconut that fluffy coconut just hides all kinds of stuff in it so far so good though right uh let's see let me get a looking around getting a what uh oh Okay, I'm just grabbing this spatula because I want to clean up just a little bit around on my cake plate. I never do all that wax paper because a lot of times I just don't make that big of a mess. There we go. Now, okay, more coconut. This is what you'll do. You will cover this and it will sit in your refrigerator for three days, okay? And we'll just play like we did that and we're going to move on. And now you'll get it out. And like I say, it needs to be in an airtight container. You don't want it to start tasting like the inside of your refrigerator if you got onions in there or something, right? So a nice plastic, you know, Tupperware or Rubbermaid cake plate that totally encloses it. And now, we just begin. On that third day, you'll take it out. You see now, you see now why it's an Easter cake, right? Three days later, we take it out to eat it. That's what it makes me think about. On the third day, he rose, right? And he is risen and very much alive. Thank the good Lord. Or I wouldn't be standing here right now today making a cake with y'all. No, I would not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That much I know. So pretty, so white, right? White. White as snow, just like how he washed us with his blood, right? Coconut cake's got all kinds of symbolisms, doesn't it? Especially our three-day wait coconut cake. I love it. And yeah, you can kind of use that if your coconut cake looks whoppy jowled or whatever. You can kind of use that to push, you know, push him around as you want. Use some of your coconut to push with so you don't squish your hand into the frosting. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, you do. And then I'll just run my fingers around and clean this right back off. And I love, I'll the picture I'll use the last time I made it. I'll take a little pansy. I've got pansies planted out here on my Cannon Kitchen porch. You want me to grab one? Because I love to put a little purple pansy right there. Y'all hang on. I will be right back. Would y'all look? I've got this real pretty little purple one. Y'all knew I was going to pick a purple one. And he looks so pretty just right in the center of our cake. I'm trying not to bruise him too much. Oh, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. So darling. You know, pansies are edible. You can, you can put them on salads and everything else. But I do not. But if I plant them in the ground, they're planted on the porch around my canning kitchen and hanging baskets off the railing. If I plant them on the ground, the deer have a field day. They think I've just made them a little salad in the ground. Yes, they do. And I mean, I've planted a ton before because my sister will bring me them. And she'll bring them at Thanksgiving because she she has a, her own landscaping company in Alexandria area. She always brings me tons of them. And um, I planted them all in the yard one time. Oh, I just thought I was going to have pansy heaven. And the deer, they had them a good time. Yes, they did. But at least they had good salads and ate good that year, right? <laughs> okay, guys, I'll tell you what. Um, I know y'all want me to cut into this, right? Right. Let me take some pictures. You know what? Let's cut into it. Why not? I know, we can't help it, can we? Well, we could, but we don't want to, right? 
I tell you what, I'll take a picture because the last time I took a picture, I was I didn't cut into it yet. This time I'll take a picture of I'll have cut into it. I have no paper towels down here. I'll tell you what, I'm a goose. Let me just clean that off right here. I'm a goose, a big old goose. It's already so soft and moist feeling. I can't imagine, I can't imagine. I can't imagine three days from now. Okay. I need a saucer. They're under y'all. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Let y'all see. Just what it looks like. See all the beautiful layers. I do too. Mm. Yeah, that'll be a pretty picture too, won't it, guys? I think so as well. <clears throat> y'all ready? I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all hear those cows? John must be on a tractor somewhere because they're carrying on. I might go check that out. That was loud. That seemed like somebody was in distress. It's already just as moist. We're not even going to wait, are we? <laughs> They're going to do nothing since I brought y'all out here. Oh, there we go. y'all back all right y'all no worries if those cows are still carrying on like that at dark i will go check it out yes i will john and i will make sure somebody's not in distress but he's been over there with them all day today so mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> y'all you don't have to wait. This thing is out of sight today and tomorrow and the next day, if it makes it that long. I'll see y'all soon. I hope y'all have a happy Easter. I love y'all. See you next time.